He spent the tail end of the 2013 season in Double A Trenton and has been there all season long this year. During that stretch, many of those around him have seen a very marked improvement in his play. When we go on the mat, basically have the same approach and the same attitude when things are not going well or when they're going well. I have the same approach. I, I try to get a good swing at the plate. Just try to have a good contact. Gary Sanchez's bat is what attracts the most attention in the organization, and his hitting is something he works on each day. He's among the Trenton team leaders in all offensive categories. And I told him, you don't have to try to add power. I mean, he's a strong young man, too, and his power is going to play. But Gary's a really good hitter. He's a smart guy, but sometimes he gets himself in trouble because he tries to do a little bit too much tried to hit the ball too far, but I told him yesterday in occasions, it's like if, if you stay short to the baseball and, and do what you do when you get the two strikes, you should be hitting about 320. Gary's got power for a young man of 21. He's hitting third in the lineup. That's not an easy place to hit at this level. Uh, pitches will pitch the heck out of you, and Gary handles that very well. In 2012, Severino signed with the Yankees and is now in his second season of pro ball. Velocity is a key asset for Severino, who tops out at a high 90s fastball. Now the Yankees' ninth-ranked prospect, he is adjusting by learning how to throw some other pitches. Electric arm. I think this kid could be a superstar. You know, once he figured out when to throw that curveball, when to throw that slider, when to throw that changeup. Once he find that out, I think it's going to be, the ceiling is high for him. Oh, what I saw in spring training was electric, man. He's got a live arm uh, with a plus change and a, a working slider. You know, it's getting better every time out. These hitters got to get ready for that fastball. And then all of a sudden he drops that changeup that he's got uh, and they can't stay back. For me, it's a big league pitch. I mean, it's got bottom to it. Uh, hitters are not able to stay back on it. They haven't put any good wood on it. So uh, to me, it, it plays up higher. When Aaron Judge steps on the box, like he intimidates pitchers. Every time he swings the bat, he could go 650 feet. You, you don't want to throw him a fastball in. Every pitcher is like, okay, I don't want to throw him a fastball in because I don't want to see it. You know, go over the light tower. At Fresno State University, he hit 346 with 17 home runs, 41 doubles to go along with 35 stolen bases. His numbers and ability impressed the Yankee front office, and he continues to use every inch of his six foot seven frame to make impact. Being this big, you know, kind of really helps with hitting a lot. It's a little bit more leverage. You know, if I was say 5'10, I wouldn't have the same leverage as I do 6'7. So it helps me hitting like balls that I may miss, still have a chance of maybe getting over the infield or something like that. So it's a nice little advantage that I have. It's a little more power and leverage, so helps out a lot. <laughs> As soon as they see his size, the guys want to either get it away from him in the strike zone or really time up inside. And I think that's why he's, he's a special player because you see his size, he has the power, but yet he has the strike zone discipline. He's calm at the play, sees the ball well. You hardly ever see him chase. A natural outfielder, Ref Snyder, has been moved to second base. He is still learning the position, but doing well there. Just, you know, a lot of hard work, a lot of adversity, but um, nothing, a little bit of hard work and uh, no passion to get better and, uh, you know, fix. He can make some spectacular plays at second base, given the opportunity. How to approach a certain ground ball, the speed of the base runner, uh, the count, you know, if his hitters count, moving over a couple steps because he might pull the ball more. Um, you know, knowing the pitcher, if he, if he throws a little bit harder, if throws more off speed than his counts. So, I mean, all that you got to learn. Players and others around him have been impressed by his athleticism and overall ability. To be honest with you, I think he's the complete player. I mean, I think he does everything well. Um, he can hit, throw, run, play the field. I mean, and a great guy to be around. I mean, he's got a lot going for him. If he can just keep that up, and uh, I see a bright future for him. He works hard on his on his uh, whole game. And uh, for me, he's going to be a manager's delight. He's, you know what you're going to get from him every night he comes to the park. The guy's been really you know, receptive to my questions, and, and uh, that's, uh, it's been a really, really good experience so far.